Hello, it's Omar Studios. Just want to talk about scribble shading. Uh, Ibuka, he's a Nigerian ballpoint uh, artist, and he makes a lot of hyper-realistic drawings, paintings. Well, I call them paintings, but, you know, works of art. And basically, he uses a scribble technique to get the skin texture. Now, you can crosshatch with straight lines. That'll give you, like, a smooth texture. But here I'm just trying to mimic his scribble shading. So how I did it, I used cardstock from Joanne's Craft and Hobby Store, 79 cents a piece. They sell them in sheets. Um, it's like a, a, a thin cardstock and it's embossed with like a pattern. I flip it over to the back where it's smoother. And then I used like a ballpoint pen. It's just a regular ballpoint pen, like a freebie. I had it like in my drawer. Um, let's see. There you go. Looks like that. And so what I did, get the lightest touch that you can put on your pen. Lightest pressure. Okay. I start off with white, zero to the left. And then I just say 0.5 because I'm trying to scribble, but... I'm kind of each loop, I'm kind of lifting up a microscopic bit. So it's just like, it looks almost like stipple, right? And you just kind of make little rows. One, that's your primary kind of layer, right? I'm just doing this. If you can get number one, all you have to do is just layer it. Two layers, three layers, four layers, five layers, six plus layers. That's how I labeled it. And if you see right above it, uh, try not to go the same way for each layer. If you go the same way, I'll notice it looks kind of like hair or fur. But if you mix it up, go different directions as you're scribbling for each layer, I think it gives you a more um, even kind of look. But you need straight, straight lines for anything that's really smooth, like a piece of metal or plastic. Um, anyway, ballpoint pen shading. I think I got it. See if you can make this, uh, what is this, eight, eight level kind of grading there. And just a, a bit on coloring. When you're trying to do hyper-realistic, it's like you you want to match the form. Use a grid, match the form. Those are like the lines that you're drawing. And then if you match the lines, the next is the colors. That's just the shading. Think of shading as colors. This is really uh, seven colors or, yeah, seven colors in white, right? It's not just blue and white or indigo color and white. Um, yeah. Just think of it as matching colors, matching shape, match, matching textures, colors, shape, textures. Those three, if you match those three, you'll get pretty close to what you what you want. And that's what being an artist is all about. You kind of develop that facility to match what you see either on paper, on a photo, or in your head, right? And when you don't match it, that's when something's kind of funny. If it if it looks dull, then your colors are wrong. If it looks like it doesn't look like the person, then your line, your 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 shape is wrong. Your proportions are wrong. So get the line slash shape right. Get the color right, and then get the texture right. Use a ballpoint pen. Don't use a gel ink pen. This is ballpoint pen. So I experimented with a lot of other. Uh, materials, but I just wanted to get this down uh, for anybody that's watching. Okay, good luck with the scribble shading, uh, hyper realistic people. I'll see you later. Ballpoint pen shading.